Welcome back, fellow explorers and adventurers, to Traveller, the Travellers of the Stars. We are once again joined by our intrepid crew, who will introduce themselves in no particular order. I might still have my half my face somewhere. You, you might. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, Edwin, you're still unconscious, please. Uh, Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I am Yalen Jones, back again. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to buy some insurance? Co nod. Yes. Excellent. Sorry. Does anyone Quiet need you. does anyone need a summary of what happened last time? Uh, I think a man in the description of the previous video would have liked one, although the co nod video <laughs> summed it up. I think it uh, I think perfectly. it's pretty much summarized by the sound of a violent explosion. See. Went is, to shit, found man with no face, I tinkered with shit, I exploded for it. Which is where survived. we actually return to the crew after yes, just and, uh, having um, Yalen's brother Mortimer appear. Uh, don't remind me. And um, rescue um, your good old-fashioned uh, friend Edwin from the clutches of the vacuum of space and bring him back to your ship, whereupon he then buggered off. <laughs> so you are now left with a unconscious... And seemingly badly hurt, Edwin, in your ship, and a half-destroyed uh, gym vessel in the vicinity. Hmm. What are you going to do? Uh, Conard would like to have a look at uh, the uh, Edwin. Ah, in that room. Uh, Edwin. Man, so I would like you to make. To. I would like you to make a medic roll for me, please, using your intelligence as a modifier. I'm not going to tell you a mod a target you need to hit. Wait, medic or first aid? Uh, medic. That's also the skill I have, so that's good. Okay, so that's two d six. Two d six plus your medic modifier, plus your intelligence modifier. Oh, tell diff. me, tell me the result you get. I'm not giving you a target to hit. Oh no. Uh, don't stab me. Plus what? Okay, that's six. You got you got six. Yeah. Right. Total. You spend a little while looking at uh, Edwin, and you come to the following conclusions. He's Is it not... Without or, or yep. with the, the vac suit on? Uh, you, um... Have you took him out the vac suit? I was hoping. Is, has anyone took him out the vac suit? Is it safe to really do so? You it don't know. Be, it might be the only thing Fuck keeping it, take him, him out. It might be the only thing keeping him You're taking, together. In the, pro in the process of checking him, you've took him out of the vac suit. Conard's oh, decided. Um, he's not dead. <laughs> Yay! He doesn't have any external bleeding. Well, he's fine. Yay. Um, he... You don't know if his de condition is going to deteriorate. Get me to a hospital, You need please. to have somebody... You need to have proper medical facilities to have a good look. But you know he's not dead. <laughs> Conard would like to announce his medical assessment to the crew. Mm -hmm. He's just asleep. Put him on the bunk. He'll wake up. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Nurse Conard. <laughs> um, fucking P. Well, I, should we maybe, like, I, the, the main priority here is getting Edwin to medical care, mm -hmm. but is there any chance of just doing a quick scan of the wreckage to see if there's anything salvageable of the main computer? Yeah, yeah, if somebody wants to do a... Uh, real quick, because a we, I really don't want to hang around. I need to get it. We... we Some Need to get it. Someone dude. wants to go on the sensors and do a sensors roll for me. Uh, best at that. Huh. Oh, not I'll me. Do a sensor roll. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Sensors, uh, intelligence. It's not hard. Uh, yeah, I have sensors one, so I get one on that and plus one on intelligence. You need to get me an eight plus. Yeah, give me a second. I just gotta open the. Uh, yep. Dice room. Uh, there it is. Okay. So two d six, and I rolled an eleven. Hey. You do a pretty comprehensive scan. There is nothing salvageable on the computer system right. at all. It's 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 a wreck. Like the whole front part of the ship is just a write-off. Okay, well our priorities are pretty straight. I think we should set a course for uh, was it Ice Shard Station? Yeah, I think so. Um, yes. You can go there. I think we better, unless there's anywhere else closer that has medical facilities. There is nowhere closer. The no. question the question is, do you want to go to there or do you want to go back to Lyon? Hmm. Lyon is about most like a day's travel. <laughs> there is a uh, chance there is a chance that Edwin's condition will deteriorate as you trap um over a day. I feel Maybe like we need to know this. 
if he has no external injuries no, and Cole no, I'm saying he medic might. is kind I'm, of shit. You say you don't know. He might deteriorate. I feel like we need to get him stabilized at the very least. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume that this ship that we're on has no medical facilities. You do not at have all. any form of medical facilities at all, apart right. from okay. like a first I, I aid think our, kit. I think, I think our best bet is I shard station. Personally, I don't know what the rest of you feel. Take him to the washer, run him, run him over under cold tap. He'll be fine. <laughs> is there uh, any other objections among the Michael? crew? Michael? No, I'm fine. We can do that. Right. Okay. You um you travel as fast as you possibly can. Um, it doesn't take too long for you to be communicated with directly from the station. A bit further away than you normally would be for getting into the vicinity, um, the man on the intercom states that he was informed in advance that um, you may be coming in on some sort of emergency. You get the feeling, Yalen, that it might have been Mortimer who told them. Huh. Well, thank you, Mortimer. So, uh, what are you going to respond in that? Well, is there a man on the... There is a man on the end of the comms. Oh, Conard! <laughs> I was waiting for that. Um, we've got ourselves into a little bit of a pickle. Uh, one of our crew is very... We could be very badly injured, and I think we need to get him stabilised as soon as possible. He, um, he informs you that um, Docking Bay 2 is open for you, which will... Which um, someone... A, um emergency team will be waiting for you at your arrival. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So, uh, you going to dock? Um, I reckon so. I think the, the unconscious man who is still somehow... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of uh... character here. No, we're just going to float about <laughs> in space for a few more hours. So, now, um... if, if Conan was a smart man, I'd like to add that we have an unconscious man and a corpse, and we're not entirely sure about the corpse. If we got the corpse at a medical facility, we might be able to have them figure out if he actually is who his ID said he was, if there's some sort of mm. record. Well, that's a, good, that's a good question. Is there is there any kind of, of bio scan when you enter the bread. station? Because this man supposedly entered Ishard Station. Um, you'll have to ask that when you get there. Okay. Um, I hope it's not a dental record. <laughs> you land, and um, Edwin is very quickly um, taken away on a small trolley. And while they are taking him away, is anyone following to the medical facility? My dreams of booze are following me. Does that count? Uh, they're always with you. Yeah. Can so. I just torn between protecting the corpse, which is the money, and going with his friend? I suppose the corpse isn't going anywhere. No, no I'll, I'll like follow. I'll there. follow uh, to the medical facility. Right. Okay. Um, you'll follow to the medical facility. Uh, they are asking. What happened? And what do you know about his injuries? Mm. I suppose we might as well just be honest. We haven't done anything really illegal here. Nope. So you're going to explain it? Yep, pretty much. Uh, well, um, we, were, we were sent here to follow a man. Mm. And we believe we found the man, but his ship was... Uh, let's, let's just say... Uh, what's the best way to describe this? Deserted. Deserted and broken in some way and we tried to fix the fault but there was a teensy weensy explosion that may have sent edwin floating off into deep space with undisclosed injuries so um yes we just like that cleaned up as soon as possible please if that's what the teensy weensy explosion i don't want to know what a big and, one is uh, for the person we were following he kind of wound up dead and we were wondering if you could maybe help identify his body they raise their eyebrow. One of them raises their eyebrow curiously at the mention that the other man is dead. Uh, but they state to you that their first priority is to deal with the living, That's and they will enough. deal with the dead later. The dead aren't going anywhere. He grimly remarks. Right, you have gone um, to a tech level ten planet, and. Um, the preferred treatment for Ollie is tech level 11. Mm. So, um, basically, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to do a check to see what the what the um, extent of his injuries are, and oh my! <laughs> um, if you, just, if you just suddenly turn around now and say that he's missing a leg, actually, no, and you no, just didn't no. notice No, no, no. They say, um, 
it's not long while they're going in that um, the doctor heading it uh, tells you that um, externally he's quite fortunate in the sense that he's not bleeding externally. However, he suffered quite a bit of internal bleeding, and he has he he has some damaged organs. We don't have any of those spare, do we? No, they can, however, be cloned. Okay. They can be cloned and surgically implanted. Um, I'm sensing a butt. Medical mm. slow, which is an option that they can provide, despite it being slightly higher technology level, is very expensive here. And without the replacement organs, the medical slow will simply kill him. Because the metabolism, like he, suff- he the metabolism is sped up. He explains the point that um, uh, that um, Edwin would undergo a month's worth of healing in a single day, but if his organs are damaged, imagine a month of organs not working properly in a ah. single day. Now, is there any way of just stabilizing him for a return trip to Leon? Oh, yes. let's see. Some kind of cryostasis. They maybe. could put him in a cryobirth for you. Yes. They do warn you that there is a chance with a cryobirth that they might not be able to wake him up on the other end. But ah. that is the safest way to guarantee that his de- condition will not deteriorate on the way back. What's the second safest option? The second safest option is leaving him here for treatment, but uh, they he, they do concede that Leom has better medical facilities than the Gatin station does. Mm. Quite a bit better. Like, uh, sorry, like Gatin is a tech level um, eight planet, which is equivalent to Earth, and Leom is ten. Actually, I got that wrong. Gatin is eight, so like, right. me, uh, like medicinal slow is very expensive, whereas in Leom it's not half as much. If you wanted to guarantee the best treatment, you'd actually want to go to either Isal or Zemos, but they're even further away. Right. But Leom is your next best bet. They can um, sell you a cryobirth. How much do those run? Well, basically, for a ship, they say that the best thing to do would actually be to go and buy a low berth. Um, which can um, basically work... There are two ways you do. You either have a low b- passenger berth, which costs 100,000 credits, or... Uh, there is an or. I don't have that much money. Cryo berths are 50,000 credits. They are willing to loan you one. Ah. Right. But there is a fee to loaning it. Okay. Well, I feel like I should go back to the ship and explain this situation to Baikal and Conard. Well, the obvious solution is organ pirating. <laughs> and where do you suppose we're going to get those organs, Conard? And stop know. looking at Baikal like that. <laughs> I was just about to say. Baikal, uh, what are your thoughts on the situation? <laughs> I think he should have bought insurance before uh, going on. Yes, I had event. a feeling you'd say that. Oh, by the way, Conard, where the hell have you put that corpse? Uh, Just as I say that, I open the bathroom to uh, go to the toilet. There is sitting on the toilet the dead corpse. Ah! Uh, uh, Just faint. <laughs> faint back, completely backwards. Out like a light. Conard sees this. Plus and, one percent uh, perversity point. He does a. Uh, he he puts Wait, the Yeeland unconscious Yeland on the toilet and takes the corpse and puts it in Yeeland's bed and figures that's probably what he was trying to do before he passed out. Okay, you've done okay. that. So uh, the two conscious people, because Yeeland's going to be out for a couple minutes. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh... All right, all right, Michael. What? All right. All, all right. What? All right. All right. All right. All right. So Eventually. we are we are at an impasse. Yes. Uh, okay. We we yeah, need guidance. We yes. Yes. Conard makes his way to the comms. Oh, <sighs> you're going to call your dad. Yes. Ah, your dad comes on the comms after a, a couple minutes delay, just as uh, Yalen is starting to wake up. He looks uh, at you. Uh, uh, right, Dad. Hmm. What is it? Man was shook. 
like omelette inside egg without <laughs> shell break. Need new yolk. Advise, please. <sighs> Strokes his um, chin. The man who has seen all has seen nothing. For in truth, what does any one see but the dunes of eternity? All right. Hmm. Shit spoken from face does not receive wisdom. I, 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 stumble, wisdom. I stumble into the room upon hearing this and I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Conan doesn't know for once. <laughs> oh no, Conan has been uh, has been uh, <laughs> no, flummoxed. Conan just sits down and stares into into the air. Just looks sad. In time, son, you will understand. <laughs> well, that was helpful. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. All right. Uh... Please tell me you've disposed... Actually, no, you haven't. Please tell me you've put that corpse somewhere safe. <laughs> yes. Thank yes. you. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, I guess our only option... Like, well, if, only I, if only I could ask Edwin what he would want. But I feel like the best option is to get him into a cryotube and take him somewhere with proper medical care. Mm-hmm. The only question is where. Suddenly a ghostly voice whispers in your ear, Fix my broken ass. Stink. <laughs> To be honest, I, I feel like I need to. I feel like we all need to have a bit of a conflab with um, Cassine. Mm. So I feel like Leorm is probably the best bet. Mm. Kill two birds with one stone. The old man in the wheelchair, Conard, the one who sent. Oh, I see. On yes, this the, the money man. Yes. Yes. So is that the so, decision uh, you're going for? I think so. If, if Biko and Conard agree. Yep. Sounds good to me. Right. They I'm are still a little flummoxed. They are. You're going to present this to the doctors in question. Mm-hmm. Right. In that case, what they're going to do is they're going to... Um, it's not a long process because it's not hard to actually just fix it into your cargo bay. A 200 kilogram cryobirth, sometimes nicknamed ice boxes, it looks like a, a coffin-like machine similar to the low or frozen berths used on spacecraft. Coffee Coffee, huh? that's, no not, that's not foreboding the at all. The difference, the doctor explains, as Edwin is being lowered in, is that the freezing occurs almost instantly. So, uh, as he is put in and they activate it, uh, he goes from being normal to being totally frozen as they shut it. I've been fucking ham solo. Which means that um, his condition will not deteriorate at all. They, <laughs> they, do, they do state that um, there is always the chance that he may never wake up. Mm. But that is the risk you take. Mm. Um, he's... Basically, they... Um, because you're a man of good standing, they are willing to loan you this mm. with a 10,000 credit deposit. Right, all right. That will be okay. payable when you return. Okay. Let me just add that to my uh, list of expenditure. Also, breaking the fourth wall for a moment, I mm. really kind of wish that Ollie was... <clears throat> that Edwin was... Uh, conscious there, as soon as he mentioned being Han Solo, because he could have just said to Conard, I love you, and Conard could have been like, all right. <laughs> so, yes. They, no. they insist, they emphasize that only a trained medical professional, a doctor, should open the cryo, the um, cryobirth. None of you should attempt to open it, because you will endanger killing him. Will you put some of the... Keep uh, the crib away with... from this thing, Conard. He can't work knobs. But he chews on things. He's not that tall. So. Can with... we put some of the meat in there with him so it'll keep. <laughs> I'm not a fucking canister Dude, for your food. A few, what, few what a smart teeth. idea. Um, it's already been shut. Uh, damn it. Can we open it again? I want some of this meat in there. You no. Fuck you. He puts a password on it now. <laughs> Aww. And says he will radio the password on <laughs> to the facility of your uh, of the um, to the Leom General um, Leom Hospitals for your arrival, <laughs> sensing that uh, Conard may be up to shenanigans. Uh, You've only known him for thirty minutes, but you're quite right. And at that point, they leave. 
it is your call now for your traveling back to... Um... Right, yep. Well, simplest course of action. Let's set a course to Leon. For once, you actually don't need to make an astrogation check as you've been there before. <laughs> and it's really easy. So the computer sets you off that way. And away you go for another day. Uh, I'm just going to go and... Uh, uh, it's been a long day. Um... I'm going to go and get some shut eye. Ah! Yep, there he is again. Thud. It's Donada puts corpse back in toilet so Kreb can't get to it. That was actually why he put it in there. Yeah. Is there puts anything... in his bed. Is anyone, <laughs> anything in particular are doing in um, the day of travel? Push-ups. Push-ups. I'm working on my frozen tan. Yeah, you're working on your frozen tan. What about Baikal? Teaming my desk. Oh. It is important. You do need to clean your desk. It's covered in raptor piss. It does take a while. It's not covered in raptor pee. You need to be able to see my reflection. Yeah. It takes a lot of polish, but eventually you get that shine. Sweet. Eventually. This after I, I, I stand up. I stand up. After waking up after a time unconscious, lean on uh, Michael's desk, completely slip off because he's waxed, knock my head on the desk, <laughs> and faint again. <laughs> no. Wait, why was your... Why was your bed next to my desk? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's hypothetical. Just go with it. After a day or so, you approach Leorm. And um, this the main address that the doctors are giving you to try was not actually a starbase hospital, but a hospital actually planet side. Right. Which they have already radioed, they've already contacted ahead of you. So they are expecting you. Is there some kind of a check for landing planet side? Uh, it's a pretty standard check. Um, it doesn't really need to be fleshed out. They ba- they know you're coming, <laughs> so it's just a case of confirming who you are and telling you where to go. Oh no, I meant a uh, pilot check, like my role. Oh yes, kind of there is check. a pilot check actually. Yeah, yeah um, for entering make, atmosphere. Yeah, make me a pilot check. It's not particularly difficult because you're streamlined. Um, you're adding your intelligence to it. Which is nothing. I've got the pilot skill. One, two D six. Yep. <laughs> Four. It takes ah. you longer than expected. Are we not crashing? You are not <laughs> crashing because the ship is streamlined. Your ship what? is actually suited for flying in atmospheres. Ooh. It just takes you longer. Eventually you land at the hospital. Whereupon the cryobirth is examined. This is the fun part where the doctors try to thaw him. Oh, fuck, here we go. Key word is try. Try. They can fail and he can die. Get to roll some dice. Oh, good, here we go. Right. They uh, thaw him. Oh, thank fuck. They thaw him out, they check his life signs, and he is not dead. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> They and then take. They take him into. Success. They take him into the um, facility, and they do ask if there is anybody next of kin wise you wish to contact. Your thought is to instead use the time to contact Cassin. Yes. Not hard to contact Cassin. Because it has been a while since you've spoken to him. Mm-hmm. He's quite worried. Ah, Jaland, what news do you have? Well, you, um... You look worried. We found Henningham. You said that, yeah, there was a bomb. Hmm, yes. Sorry, I completely forgot that we'd already <laughs> spoken. <laughs> Just passed out three times. What? Well, I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit groggy, Cassine. Give me a moment. Uh, uh okay. Corpse, corpses and business. Um, what? The bomb exploded, Cassine. Oh. Oh. The ship was lost. Damn it. But on the plus side, we have Henningham's corpse. Bits of it. That's a plus. I suppose. Wait, you weren't on the ship when it blew, were you? One of us was. Oh, God. How is he? Hopefully we're going to find out soon. He's, we were, at a, we're at a medical facility. Oh, I think I know which one you're at. Stay there. I will come to you. I think it would be best. Uh, stay there. I will... Damn it! The doctor approaches you after your call. Go, nod. 
You've brought him to the right place. We are uh, aptly able to uh, replace the organs based on his genetic code. It would not take long to clone them. The surgery is quite simple and straightforward, and after that we can apply a medical slow, which should uh, rapidly accelerate his rate of healing. It's not Thank a, you, Doctor. It's not cheap, of course, but we will uh, bill you at the end. Great. <laughs> You might want some coffee. This might take a while, unless you, uh, unless, w unless you want us to just keep you paged. Well, luckily I know someone with a, a lot of coffee, so we'll go deal with that. <laughs> I'm making. Coffee and we'll wait for it. we'll wait for Cassine on the ship. Right. You are informed as Cassine arrives that the surgery is actually soon to be started. The um. They're basically replacing the essential organ replacements first, rather than the non-critical ones. Cassine is wheeled, uh, is uh, wheeled in by his assistant. He does look very concerned. He doesn't look like he's had a lot of sleep. Mm. <sighs> he looks slightly guilty. Uh, the, uh, I, wish you, I wish we were meeting under more favourable circumstances. Yes, I agree. How? Oh, it's oh, it's the other one. To be honest, I thought it would have been it would have been Conard, but uh... no, nope, it was Edwin. I was not expecting a bomb. No, neither were we. I don't... Can you? We need more details here, Cassine. I... The bomb has took you by surprise just as much as it has me. I don't... Perhaps he was paranoid about something. I... I don't... I never thought his paranoia was founded on anything. Perhaps he actually did have enemies he was trying to keep away from. Well, I hate to, uh... Cut to the chase a little bit, Cassine, but... You sent us to find Henningham. Mm -hmm. We think we found him. Do you... Unfortunately, he's missing pretty much all of his face. Do you have any way of identifying him outside of his facial features? There's always genetics. But, but, but where's this going on? Sorry. In the ship. Okay, Conor comes in, dumps Henningham on the desk. He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> Thank you, Conard. Evidently, or... he is dead. Yes. Do you have his genetic code on record? It would not be hard to cross-reference it. His next of kin will have to be informed if he has any. I don't remember if he did. Well, I, 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 I don't know what more we can really do, uh, Cassine. We've you sent us to find Henningham. We may have found him. You found nothing else at all on the ship. Just a, a an empty crate with <clears throat> dirt around it. Wait, an empty crate with dirt? Yes. Do I produced the I produced the dirt sample in a little uh, container. That... This was the only thing on board. There was nothing else. Dirt and. It's it's a thread, a weak one, but that dirt could be analyzed. Wait, 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 wait. You asked us to find Henningham. Correct. Are you going to pay us for that? If it's Henningham. Yes, if money is all you care about, yes, no, I will no, no, pay no. You for Henningham. No, that's not all I care about, but from the tone of your voice, it makes you sound like you're going to ask us to do more for you. Depends on what that brings up. Well, you're the one. You're the only one who can really do anything with this. So I lean over Henningham's corpse and I hand the soil to. Gives it to the. the gives it to the assistant. I'll have him run some tests for me. My lab may be a little bit outdated, but it should still be able to at least find out where that dirt came from, or if there's anything else in there. It's the only lead I've got. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, Cassine. You're a friend. I'm not asking for the money, for out of greed or anything. It's just that we've got an injured crewmate, and uh, that, we need that, to pay for his medical. That costs. you do not need to worry about. That that is my fault. You are old, and you'll probably die soon. And I'd rather get paid before you die. I'm probably well, going to die sooner than you expect if I do not find this cure. Yes. Yeah, so money now, please. Before you're dead. Even if I die, you will still get your money, Conard. 
All that right. I promise you. Right then. Kona dissatisfied. Sits down. I'm ter I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Cassine. I really am. Uh, I was half expecting it to be truthful. I was expecting him to come up with nothing. To find out that he is dead and he still potentially could have found nothing. I mean, how long did you know Henningham? A long time. Friends? Business Were partners you more than anything. He kept himself distant even from me. Did you trust him? I trusted him enough to send me to send him off to find the only cure I potentially could have for my life. Uh, that's it all. And now, the only people I have nearby to trust are you lot. That poor, poor boss. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> trust that rolls game, downhill. Well, um, I will let you know about the results. Of the, t of the testing. You keep me posted on any news about Edwin. We will. Mm. Yes. He, he excuses himself at that point. Unless anybody wants to do anything in particular, I can montage a little. Um, well, we'll, have a, we'll have a theme. <laughs> no, there is no montage theme. There. No, I want I even Russia tiger. had a montage. Shut out of things happening at once. Remind people what's going on. Um, we're pretty yeah. much just waiting for Edwin to come out of surgery anyway. You so are. Surgery. Might as well. Right. Just a Super montage of just like Michael cleaning his desk, Bernard <laughs> moving the corpse from room to room. Gotta clean the desk. <laughs> gotta make it smooth. So smooth. Gotta make it smooth. How how leaky is the corpse? Is he is he is he jerky like or is he actually quite juicy? He's a corpse. Got it, no <laughs> more belly. Put yeah, but... in. I love, the, I love the description there. Is he jerky or juicy? I like that. Well, I mean, if he was in the ship and the environmental controls had uh, failed, he would have been frozen. So the environmental he been controls hadn't failed. Okay, so he was just rotting and starting to bloat. He un. Been... He's continuing this fantastic trend in our ship. So, after... Alright, I will montage a little. They do confirm that it is indeed Henningham. The body is taken away, confirmed to be Henningham, and is passed on to next of kin. He was shot in the face with a high-caliber pistol. I'm glad it wasn't a shotgun. That might have made me a little bit suspicious. Yeah. The first surgery has complications. Eh. You are informed. He had suffered more internal bleeding than they originally thought. Really glad for Cryo now. Fortunately, the second surgery goes a lot better. They do inform you that he now has a cybernetic liver. <laughs> awesome. Now he can't get drunk. <laughs> Shit. No, they said that he they said that he could. It was more the fact that um his liver was quite badly damaged during that. And they noticed that it had also started suffering some minor scarring anyway. Oh. So they just they've just got that in while they're waiting for a new liver to grow. So it will be removed unless he explicitly doesn't want it to be. <laughs> Uh, out of character, is there any, like, benefits? There or... is no benefit whatsoever. The only benefit is, it will make it more complicated to be treated if something goes badly wrong. Yeah. So, you probably want it removing. Okay. Once your condition has stabled slightly more, mm -hmm. they put you under medical slow. Yeah, okay. Medical slow is a... It, it uses what's again cryo, in a way. But it, they basically use the drug to... In speed up your metabolism so you go through a month's worth of healing in a single day. Wow. Anybody with any medical skill at all? Uh, anyone else with medic skill? Mm, nope. Michael? Uh, no, I don't have medical skill. Just Conard. Just Conard. <laughs> Yay. You <laughs> don't I have, I have I medical feel so safe. That, That's enough for me to tell you that if you did not use medical slow in a, in a proper facility, it's a very good way 
to cook all of your internal organs and kill yourself. How is no, medical no. slow applied? Medical slow is is a drug. Hmm. Is there any chance of like getting hold of something to use as a weapon? Because it sounds like a pretty effective one. Just stab someone with a medical slow and just watch them go. Ugh, just not melt. not ethically, there isn't. Ah, right. <laughs> no one is going to I'm sell gonna you. File, it. I'm going to file that one away for later, though. God fucking damn it. Basically, Am I conscious yet, by the way? You are conscious after that, but oh. they then put you immediately back under to replace the liver. Hey, I'm alive. Uh, hey, 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 you are out hey of, I'm alive! Oh, in total, you are out of commission for three days. But you, you do eventually come out on that third day conscious, fully healed, I'm probably a little scared of explosions. Your choice. <laughs> Do I have any nice battle scars? No. Oh. None whatsoever? Not even from the surgery? Medical slow is a wonderful thing. Come on, yeah. I can hook you up. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> after three days, um, you are discharged. Yeah, I thank the doctors and get on my way. Does he get a cream for this discharge? We're on Leon, correct? You are indeed on Leon. Uh, right, before I meet up with all the other fuckers, would I be able to visit the um the missus? <laughs> You'll never get More importantly, to... did You'll she visit? <laughs> no, did she, did actually, she visit? Actually, she you would be the next of kin. Actually, you can't. She's currently off world on an assignment. Eh. She did. Okay, shall shall I send her a message. Explain. You will. Send... Yeah. Send hey, her a message. I got like... exploded. <laughs> <laughs> hey, funny thing happened. I may have nearly died. Just letting you know. Yeah. Wait, wait, would Conard have known to do this? No. Aw. No, I do no, not. No, you, you cannot mess mess up that by communicating. <laughs> no, but she, she might have been uh, next of kin, and since yeah. Conard's probably the only one that really knows what's his face, then uh, he, he, he might have been the one to send a message while Ollie was under. It's it's okay. Like um, you would not. Aww. have known. It's no, not. It's just... I'm sorry. It's not too long after that, and the the bill is charged over to Cassine that he actually communicates with you via your comms on your ship. He yep. actually has a vaguely determined look on his face. Ah, Cassine. You think he might have figured something out? Oh, he's uh, still alive. Yes, I am. Thank you. I, it is good seeing in the distance. It is good to see you up and about again, Edwin. Yeah. You need um... not. You need not worry about the cost of your treatment. I have bared it. Oh, thank you very much. Generous of you. It's my fault. Yeah. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have... I should not have insisted so much that you that you disarm it. But that is besides the point. I should be I, a bit more cautious in future. I have analysed the traces. We've analysed the dirt. And there are two things that I have discovered. Hmm. The first is that it was indeed dirt from Gatin. Specifically, right. dirt from the frozen north part of the planet. <laughs> yeah, cat dirt. Well, I'm not. Okay, I'm not sure why uh, Edwin is chuckling to himself, but uh, go on. The second thing is there was dandruff in it. Dandruff. dandruff. And that has DNA. So we could potentially find out who messed up with the man's face. I have found out who's messed up that man's face. Hmm. Who he is is not specifically important because uh, what? It's, it's more who what he's connected to. And what would that be? The Alice's machine. A small group of pirates. Ah, uh, pirates. Pirates. Um. Hmm. He has criminal links with a pirate on the planet's surface. Um, any specifics, pirates? Yes, uh, uh, we actually have the uh, idea. He is wanted uh, in a few places. Uh, a man called uh, Terry Julian. He's uh, ah. wanted for I... space piracy, extortion. My face brightens at the sound of not hearing who I thought it would be. I'm happy with this. A small time, but uh, that is, is it is indeed one of his thugs. Hmm. We have a potential based on the dirt. I have a potential location because the dirt has faint traces of radioactive material in it. Joy, 
And there's only one place where anything radioactive has gone on on Gatin, and that is a former uranium mine. Uh, so, so what are you proposing, Cassine? If they've found anything on that computer, or know any, or took anything from from Hanningham, they'll have gone back there. You could are kill... you are you saying that you're hiring us for this as well? I'm saying that there's a potential to kill two birds with one stone, both to fight potentially see if there is information they they took from Hanningham, and also to bag a bounty reward for yourself. Terry Julian's is for dead or alive. Is there a chance? Take a look at the, 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 Is there a chance dead. we could borrow the freezy thing? No. The freezy thing, I believe, was on loan from the medical facility. But I suppose you, well, you'll be giving it back when you head back to the planet itself. So if you're splendid. Oh, I know exactly what we're doing, you stupid. Organ anyway. pirates. <laughs> How much was this man worth? Terry Julian is worth 10,000 credits alone. What about his kidneys? <laughs> Just. I wouldn't know. But that is not specifically what you want to hear from me. For both of these things combined... I am willing and able to pay you. Uh, I have. You would be able to be pay, say, thirty thousand credits, hmm. if you find anything. Hmm. Thirty thousand credits is nearly half of your monthly mortgage. I'm okay with this. Oh, uh, so am I, actually. Plus, you're a friend, because so. This is fine. And you're a friend, Cassine, so uh, obviously I want to help you out. Send it to me, Dad. I don't know what you're going to be facing there, but I would presume that they are going to at least be armed. I don't well, know if they'll be expecting you. To be honest, it was getting pretty it was getting pretty boring on Leom, and we've already survived a bomb, so what calm could a few we? pirates do? Yes, we, Edwin. We survived the bomb. A scowl. Anyway... So, so, I look, uh, I look at Conard. To, uh, I shard station then. Mm. I wish to look at Conard and say, "You ready to stab some men, son?" Let's not damage the merchandise. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about the the bounty. I'm talking about just stabbing men in general. Jugulars only. We need the organs. <laughs> okay. Okay. But we're giving back the uh, cryo booth, uh, Conard. When you get to get him. So unless you up. want to. Unless you want to store the organs in the toilet in my bed, like you've been doing Henningham for the last two days. Uh, for the, for, can can uh, I? Day, a few days ago. No, of course you can't. <laughs> I think, that, uh, to be fair, the toilet gets quite cold. The seat is usually quite a chilly place yes, to sit Yes, but when in I go morning. to the toilet, I don't particularly want to poke a kidney out of the way before I can do anything. <laughs> can we turn off the environmental controls in, uh, in individual no. rooms? No. Even if I could, I think, as a How thick clothes do you all have? <laughs> <laughs> This isn't being discussed. What is Michael doing at this point? <laughs> um, I'm kind of running the numbers on if we can get any money back from that whole cryo thing that we did for Ollie. Your numbers basically state that the hospital has done you a great service by merely loaning it out to you. Your oh. numbers state that that thing is worth five times what the loan money is payable, and that you'll be you'll be getting that money back when you return it. Oh, okay. I also want to I also want to send a message to Kazim to, uh, to tell him that he should include uh, the insurance for all of us in uh, in his in his payment. Mm. That's actually smart because we we might need medical crap again. Yes. Conard, of course, just grunts. This is out of character. He's... Yes, yes, we need uh, like. Uh, but basically, uh, basically, I draw, I draw up like an insurance that would basically like barely cost them anything and would greatly insure us and would make sure that we can concentrate on actually dealing with any problems. He says he will consider. He says he will consider what you have sent him. With enough waffling done, I wish to go back to the ship and prepare to get off again. He says he will consider it, Michael. Cool. 
So, uh, yes. Um, Back to the ship, and off we go. Well, we, we're on the ship. We've been talking to Cassini. Yes, you are on the <laughs> ship. You're still a little bit groggy, Edwin, I think. I've been under fucking surgery for like three days. I'm allowed to. Don't make me punch you in your cybernetic liver. It's not cybernetic anymore. Now. Oh, all right. It's gone now. I'll punch you in your regular liver. Um, <laughs> You'll have yes, a so, uh, discussion with my fucking shotgun. Uh, see what happens then. Let's set a course to uh, Ishard yeah. Station. Back we go. Oh. <laughs>